no, you can't ride my bike. <laughs> What's up guys? My name is Andrew. We are at my shop, Meserol Shop in Brooklyn, New York. We are a store that focuses mostly on BMX and I'm here today to show you guys this new Supreme bike. You didn't buy it just for the club? I didn't buy it just for the club. This is the first thing Supreme that I've ever paid for. This is a 1995 S&M dirt bike, basically a replica, but you know, considering the company that made the bike, made the bike, uh, I'd say it's a pretty darn uh, good replica. They got a lot of things right. A couple misses, Primo rod. It has a 22 two C post, that's crazy. The Supreme bike here was made by S&M, which is uh, one of the leaders in uh, high quality BMX bikes. S&M Bikes is, is probably the largest manufacturer of USA BMX frames, parts, accessories. They're based in Santa Ana, California. They've been doing it for over 30 years now and um, they, do a, they do a real good job. Most of this bike was manufactured in the USA. I think the retail price on these was $2,000, but the reality is, is if you built a bike like this today, it would cost close to that. What do you think this is gonna go for on eBay? I don't know, and I don't really care, because I'm gonna ride it. <laughs> we were lucky enough to get our hands on one, and I plan to ride it, you know? Uh, I'm definitely gonna take care of it, and maybe even spruce it up a little bit, maybe make some upgrades, but it's a bike that deserves to be ridden, and I. My guess is that a lot of them probably won't get ridden. And uh, you know, this bike was built to ride. It definitely needs some shred. Uh, one of my favorite features about this bike is the SNM Redneck Stem. It's one of SNM's most iconic parts that they've manufactured over the years. It's changed a lot. It's much slimmer now these days, but this is a pretty good replica of the early versions. Um, you know, of course, with the Supreme logo etched into the front, it definitely really pops on the bike. This is actually engraved into the dropout. So, you know, this is gonna be done probably before they weld it. You also see that same logo kind of stamped into the rear triangle. Uh, these are called the seat stays. And, and this piece right here is a bridge that kind of supports those seat stays, stiffens up the frame. And uh, it's a pretty cool placement for a logo. So the redneck stem is holding on these nice pair of slam bars, like another iconic piece that SM has manufactured over the years, made in America, made in their factories. So many people uh, rode these bars, you know, back in the day, and now ride versions based off of them. The sprocket, retro 44 tooth SM sprocket. These are these pieces are made in America as well. You'll see some of the details on the back with the etching. So of course Supreme had to go in and really flavor it up. They added uh, an extra pad set and actually another set of black grips. But the pads are pretty cool. They have the Supreme text here with the S&M logo and kind of the retro scandalous graphics here. These, these pads are also made in the USA. Yeah, we're not hanging this thing up. We're, uh, we're gonna take it outside. We're gonna rip it around a little bit, see how she does. Bought this bike just because I thought it was a cool bike. I thought it was a cool project that SM did uh, with Supreme. You know, I'm a big fan of SM's work. They, they're one of the best companies out. They make really nice American made products, and, and I'd, I'd like to support them any way I can. 